All right, the, the next biggest request for this video is what do I think of Windows 8? And I titled this video, Windows 8 is no Vista for a, uh, a big reason. Generally speaking, let me get some of the things out of the way uh, first. I like Windows 8, I use it a lot, I develop on it, I use it every day. Uh, I do like the UI. I'm, I'm not a fan, I, I think particularly because I'm not a fan of the start menu and I use lots of icons in my Windows machines and I use programs that group icons into, into their little own categories and things uh, and that's how I pretty much organize myself on Windows and Windows 8 has what I would call intelligent icons if you will that I can also group and it's, and it's more friendly to doing that I don't have to have another application to do that I, I find it running faster in many regards than my Windows 7 machines uh, and I've quite frankly gotten used to it. I like some of the uh, shortcut keys and search functions and things like that that are within Windows 8 that I can get into in more detail in another video, but I wanted to generally cover the, that I like it. Now I will say that the desktop version could use, um, instead of relying on, on a t like when you move your mouse over to the sides or wherever and you bring up property bars or side menus, I think that there should be something more obvious when it's running on a desktop. And that's not too hard to to I think code into the to the UI and when it's on a on a touch product it, it can detect hey I'm not on a desktop and so therefore that the touch many of the touch features would apply there. So that would be my, my little gripe. However, once you once I got used to it and I'm a pretty big um, shortcut key person, even using the mouse it's 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 second nature at this point. So uh, the UI, no real complaints on that. The uh, but so getting into why it's, Windows 8 is not a Vista because I think that's where everything comes from. Here. But the most of the articles and, and, and uh, chatter that I hear is saying, oh, you know how how Windows 8 they screwed up again and Microsoft is changing things again and this and that and um, I would I would say no a a UI change to me does not equal code and kernel based changes that, that Windows had is in its history, okay? It, it does not um, equate to major security changes and fundamentals how user and program access is the kernel. The, a UI, and, if, and many of you may be younger, a lot, you know, younger than me or some of you older than me, uh, I've, I've lived over quite a few UI changes over the same OS's. And we've all had the, the, the temporary arguments of uh, getting used to the new UI change. But once we did, we found what we liked. Maybe, maybe some of you didn't like it, but whether or not, you moved on and, and you were able to do your work uh, and get things done. When it came to Windows Vista, you had functional blocks that just you, you, couldn't, you couldn't do work. You had to downgrade. You had to go back to, to uh, XP. There were serious problems with, with programs no longer having access to resources they, they once had because of security changes, driver changes, all kinds of things functionally prevented many from hitting and moving forward on Vista for quite a while. Those were necessary changes. Those were changes that we don't even think about anymore that are now part of Windows 7. And uh, Windows 8 uh, bringing the next step of Windows 7 into it with the new UI, I think, is fine. Uh, great, it's a UI change. You know, I don't have any particularly fondness, really, of the of the traditional desktop UI Windows, but I know a lot of people are used to it, and I, my personal opinion is they'll get used to the Windows 8. But there do need there does need to have some detection on when Windows 8 is on a desktop or a, or a touch device that. Uh, that that needs to come in that I've already covered. It, it, it's it's funny how people talk about oh this UI change and this UI change. If I'm not mistaken, in my last video I was talking about we were talking about Apple and iOS and so many people were saying iOS's UI is stale. Are those same people going to have that same enthusiasm if and when iOS changes its its UI and Will it then, at that point, be a good thing? Because if you're asking for it now, it hasn't happened, and then all of a sudden you get it, and then oh, maybe it's not something that you like, but nonetheless, the change occurs. You get it's no longer a stale UI. You have a new UI, a new UI for iOS. Uh, I just wonder if that same argument sticks around. Uh, I, I stand firm by my opinion that that UIs are just temporary arguments 
and as so long as function is is not the the culprit of of, of the uh, progress and upgrading and using that operating system, I think we always we always find a way. I, I certainly see a lot of users that, that I've programmed for do all kinds of things that I would have never thought of, even with my own software. People, it, it's amazing how users find different paths and, and ways of, of doing things in their own little environment. and they, they can complain there, but once they get it, they're there. And what's funny is once the next change comes up, then they're all back to complaining again. So, uh, I, I think that's pretty much my opinion on on Windows 8. Generally speaking, we can go in details, uh, you know, performance improvements and things like that in another video. I can't give you anything on the touch because I don't own a Windows RT or Surface or any, any uh, really. I should say the Metro UI. I don't consider RT uh, to be really Windows 8, but nonetheless, uh, the UI implementation on any touch device I have I have not really messed around with. Thanks for watching. Yeah.